Know your marine stuff. Main engine top racing. In this video we will see the types, function and working of main engine top bracing system. Function of main engine top bracing. Two-stroke marine engines are very powerful engines. When these powerful engines are running a lot of vibrations are produced. If vibrations which may resonate with vibrations of other machinery and cause heavy damage to ship. Structure as well as machinery. When the engine is running it will experience longitudinal as well as transverse vibrations. In order to reduce such vibrations, different methods and systems are used, which includes detuners, thrust pads, chokes etc. Another method to transfer engine vibration to ship s hull is to use struts or bracings. Bracing or rocking is particularly concerned with the longitudinal vibration of the engine. Bracing or rocking is particularly concerned with the longitudinal vibration of the engine. Two types of bracing units can be fitted. 1. Mechanical bracing units. Or 2. Hydraulic bracing units. The bracing unit is normally installed on the exhaust side of the engine but may also be installed on the manuring side. Or even on both sides. Frictional type bracing or strut. This consists of friction shims clamped between two steel plates by a hydraulically fastened bolt. Side stays can be fitted between the engine top and hull structure to reduce vibration caused by lateral moments. The top bracing comprises stiff connections, links, either with friction plates which allow adjustment to the loading conditions of the ship. With TH bracing the natural frequency will increase to a level where resonance will occur above the normal engine speed. Hydraulic bracing Now we will see the components and operation of hydraulic bracing. The top bracing comprises stiff connections, links, either with friction plates which allow adjustment to the loading conditions of the ship. With TH bracing the natural frequency will increase to a level where resonance will occur above the normal engine speed. Function To detune lateral vibration of main engine by increasing the natural frequency of engine vibrating system to such an extent that resonance occurs above the running range of engine speed. If vibration level due to guide force moment is low and within acceptable limit, top bracing may be eliminated. Vibration level normally to be checked by measurements with and without top bracing during sea trial. Racing bolts play an important role for satisfactory operation of slow-speed diesel engines. Prolonged running with slack bracing bolts may cause serious vibration and damage to engine structure. Hydraulic top bracing The hydraulically adjustable top bracing is an alternative to the mechanical top bracing. It is intended for application in vessels where hull deflection is foreseen to exceed the usual level. Are in cases where the detuning effect from the top bracings is only required in part of the engine speed range. Here you can see hydraulic cylinders and on top solenoids which are electrical operated. You can also see accumulator unit which dampens the pressure surges provide reserve pressure. 
Here special attention has to be paid about spherical bearings which will take twisting loads. Here you can see the hydraulic flow paths. Hydraulically adjustable top bracing cylinder without pump station. Hydraulic top bracing. Working principle. The hydraulic top bracing consists of a single acting hydraulic cylinder and a hydraulic control unit mounted directly on the cylinder housing. The top bracing is self adjusting using the vibration energy emitted by the engine. When the engine is running, the unit builds up a pressure in proportion to the vibration level. This detunes the engine as natural frequencies and accordingly lowers the impact of the vibrations. When the engine is at standstill, the pressure is then released. Working principle When the distance between the hull and engine increases, oil flows into the cylinder under pressure from the accumulator. When the distance between hull and engine decreases, a non-return valve prevents oil from flowing back to the accumulator and the pressure rises. If the pressure reaches a preset maximum value, a relief valve allows the oil to flow back to the accumulator. Maintaining the force on the engine and hull structures below the specified level. Operation The top bracing is automatically controlled by the RPM signal from the propulsion control system. The system is active as standard when the engine is running, but a programmable switch makes it possible to choose an RPM range within which the top bracing system is for service purposes. Manual control is also possible. Maintenance and inspection of mechanical top bracing. 1. Relative movements between top bracing and fastening plate to be checked with dial gauge. 2. Accordingly tightening of bracing bolt to be carried out with specified torque. 3. Tightening to be checked with torque wrencher by hydraulic tensioning. 4. Checking should be carried out once or twice a year. If relative movement larger than slash minus 0.02, increase tightening torque. Hydraulic top bracing. 1. Oil pressure of the hydraulic cylinders are to be compared with each other at regular intervals. 2. If one of the cylinders shows a considerable lower pressure, the opposite hydraulic cylinder must be released of its pressure until the problem has been remedied. 3. Oil leakages to be checked. 4. Hydraulic cylinder to be overhauled in case of leakage. 